Hey guys, how's it going everybody? My name is Wolfsburg Iron ladies and gents. It is time to begin a brand new series right here on the Blitzwinger channel. This is Transformers Devastation. This is a game that I've wanted to play for quite a while now and I'm really, really excited to dive into this particular title. Now, before we get to the actual game, I want to give you guys an awesome, awesome shout out because you guys have been redonkulously supportive with any new series on the channel, but especially Transformers stuff. Now, I will be honest with you guys, it has been a hot minute since I've played a Transformers game, and this is the most recent one that we got. If you remember, a while back, there were the Cybertron games, War for Cybertron, and then, what was the other one called? Fall of Cybertron, wasn't it? I believe that's what it was. But either way, you guys really, really enjoyed that series on the channel. We managed to reach almost 3,000 likes on each one of the part ones for both of those games, so let's go on ahead and try to do even better this time around, the goal is going to be 5,000 likes, and hopefully we can reach that goal. Let's go on ahead and try to do so. And in addition to that, guys, I wanted to go on ahead and ask you guys, what is your favorite Transformer? Now, if you know the name of the channel, you probably would know that my favorite Transformer is Blitzwing. So, let's get rocking and rolling. It seems like there are three difficulty levels. There's the Scout level for players that are familiar with action games but not experts. I feel like that might be me. Uh, for veteran action gamers looking for a challenging experience, I think that's probably more likely what we're going to go with because that sounds like medium difficulty. And then for high-level action gamers, extremely challenging. Nope, that's okay. We're going to go with the medium one because the other one is probably going to create a lot of rage. So in order to avoid that situation, we're going to go on ahead and just focus on this here, which is uh, going to be a nice challenge, but not insanely difficult. So that should be just right. And hopefully that will make the game enjoyable. Plus, I always feel like game developers design games to be played on medium difficulty. Because that's where most people are going to play them. Holy moly! Okay. <laughs> well, things escalated quickly. Big giant tentacle arms right away. Destroying the city. Okay. Oh! Uh, dude! It's the Constructicons! And there is... I don't think that was Starscream. There's Megatron. But in front of him, was that Skywarp? Because there's unknown Starscream. Okay. That's Blitzwing, by the way. So we got Blitzwing, uh, Starscream, and... Uh, oh my gosh, what's his name? The one with the cassette tapes. How could I forget his name? Plasma Energy. Uh-oh. Soundwave, that's his name. I knew it. Oh. Starscream with his ridiculous way. It was not like he's got a stuffy nose. He's like, I can't believe this Megatron. Woo. Dude, he just like slapped him. He just like, whoosh, sit down. I love that the constructor cars are not transformed into robots. They're still cars. They're like, okay, gotcha, boss. Ah, I think Megatron's off to a vacation. He's like, peace, I'm outie. Whoa, look at this response to the dinosaur just running through the streets. I don't know why that's so funny, but just imagine like you're walking through your town or through your city and there's like, if you could see those four cars, first of all, it's like, well, guys, you're driving on the wrong side of the road, but still you could kind of see something like that happen. But there's, there's a metallic dinosaur running through, especially with his arms. Look at his dino arms. He's so funny. Time to transform and roll out. It's probably one of the most like famous noises ever, right? The okay, well things definitely escalate right away into the game. There's no like easing into the process. It's just, hey, right away, complete and utter chaos. Oh, now that's a problem because it looks like the team has been separated into two. You're not going to ask how they are? Oh, <laughs> you just assumed that they're all good. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love that Optimus is just like, I'm good. He doesn't He doesn't go like, how are you guys? How is the team? He's just like, I'm good. And then look at this pose too. So smug about it. Okay, so let's move the character. We're going to obviously kind of learn how to go on ahead and play here. I did play the demo for this game, um, but I never did play um, the full title. Okay, so that's the way that you throw things. It seems like they're trying to like boost the building away, no? I think so, Optimus. 
they're creating hurricane force winds like they're trying to sweep the city clear. Oh, okay. There is more to the situation than meets the eye. I like that. More than meets the eye. Yeah, because they're transformers. Do we destroy these? Oh, wow. Holy, we have our axe attack. That's pretty cool. So, one, two, three. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wait. So, R1 is to transform. Here we go. We arrive. Oh, and we got some Decepticons. Who is this? These are unnamed Decepticons. These guys are like, hey, where are the off-brand Decepticons? Ground Soldier. What a great name. Should be Ground Soldiers, really. Okay. Well, let's see what we got for them. Okay, the game feels great. Gosh, I feel bad that I took so long to play this. Because it really feels quite responsive. When you see a blue flash during a combo, press, uh, sorry, quickly press R1 to perform a devastating vehicle attack. Which, of course, we were uh, already aware of because I kind of pulled it off before. One, two. There we go. So we managed to pull off a nice little combo. There we go. Hey, here we go. That Starscream? Or Skywarp? Because it's purple? Probably not Skywarp. Although it looks a lot like Skywarp. It's a Seeker. Okay. Very cool design for those guys. Wait, wait. Uh, oh, aim. Gotcha. Thank you. Wait, are we out of ammo? Oh, we are out of ammo. Okay, so there's a limited amount. Well, I don't think I have any ammo. I think we ran out of ammo. Wait, how do I block? Holy! I just spawned in our entire vehicle. That was crazy. Okay, there we go. Finally have some blasts. Oh, no. We won, right? Why did I get such a low rank? C? I thought we were doing really well. Collect energon cubes to restore your energy. Green cubes will restore health, while blue cubes will, blue cubes, sorry, will restore your weapon's energy. Okay, good to know. What was that? I don't know what those are. That seems like some sort of currency. What's L1? Oh, that's the super move right there. That sweeping attack is crazy. How did I jump up there? Hey, look at that. Ooh, new weapon, I think. New blaster for Optimus. What's this? Got some Energon cubes. Okay, Teletron 1, thank you. There we go. Yikes. Did I hit that or no? I don't have very much ammo. Okay, run quickly. I think you have to do that in like a certain amount of time. Hey, there we go. Ooh, new sword. How do I equip things? Oh, there we go. Wait. Hmm. I actually don't know how I switched to the sword. No, that's fine. I'm okay with that. But how do I switch... Because we just got a sword instead of the axe that we were using before. I'd love to try that out, but not really sure how. Okay. Dude, I love the, like, intuitiveness of the game so far. It feels really good, like the controls and everything. Hey, what's up, Bumblebee? Hold down R1 to switch between robot and vehicle mode. Dude, this is so cool. Here we go. Hey, oh, hello. Optimus, look. Some sort of cash. Wait. Hold. Hold R1 for ground slam. Wait, so. I'm confused. Hold R1. Ground slam. I don't get it. 
After jumping in robot mode, you can change form midair to perform a ground slam that will damage enemies to unearth bird and unearth bird items. So, jumping. There we go. Got it. Hey, oh. Sweet. That's cool. So there's an actual, like, um, not necessarily an RPG mode, but somewhat of an RPG mode to this, which is pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Looks like we're going to need to transform. There we go. Ooh, I almost messed it up. Luckily we didn't. There's Grimlock up ahead as well. It looks like all the Autobots were fine all along. New inventory. See, again, maybe there's... How do you check? Oh, maybe it's in here. Inventory. That's repair kits. Enhance. No. Where's... Hmm. I thought it would be in here, no? But it isn't in here. That's really odd. I don't know what that is then. The common item that we keep getting. Because even in that category, like, it's not... Ooh, oops. It's not letting me really switch anything, unfortunately. Ow! Okay, what does that mean? Dodge using R1 just before an enemy's attack uh, would hit to achieve a focused state and briefly slow down time. Okay. Here it comes. Come on. Got him. Oh, hello. You get welcomed right away, huh? Okay, I need to try to counter. There we go. Warning what? Look at Grimlock and Optimus just going ham against these ground soldiers. Yeah, these guys are not... Okay, so definitely want to keep using um, R1. Wait. Why did it say me to tell me to use a repair kit? I think we're okay in health, no? Why would I need to replace it? Oh, hello. Got him. B rank. Okay, not bad. Better this time, at least. Ooh, we have some sort of an ability by pressing L3 and R3 together. Hmm. That sounds interesting. Looking forward to seeing that, but I don't want to waste it. Because I think that's probably something powerful. Holy moly, is that the Constructicons? Oh, it's Devastator, dude. Okay. Wait, this is our first boss fight as Devastator? Okay, well that's... Kind of insane. I didn't expect that. I did not think that the first boss fight would be Devastator. Super Saiyan mode! Oh, that did sort of. Oh, it did some damage. Come on. Boom. Okay, so far I'm doing pretty well. Come on. I'm trying to mix it up. Holy, okay. Come on. Dude, I love how you can see the scratches and the, all the like little ding marks over on his um on his actual like torso and everything like that. It's pretty cool. Okay, we got our tail attack and we also managed to go on ahead and sweep Devastator. Whoo! Okay. What do you mean, can finish? He was losing. Sure. Good luck with that, dude. You got absolutely crushed. 
Okay, look at this. Looks like we jump into a completely different uh, Autobot now. Oh, it's kind of cool. I didn't know that you could actually use uh, attacks even in uh, vehicle mode. Oh, no. We're out of ammo. I don't know how we're going to take those guys out because we're out of ammo. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, wait. Maybe I could use an item. Right? Because I probably have some sort of uh, weapons energy. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. He's got another weapon? There we go. That should help. Okay. I don't know where it is. Oh, hello. Come on, Bubblebee. Good job. Another common sword unlocked. We got a log there. Don't want to waste a lot of this now. Okay. Wait. Where did it go? Wait. There we go. Come on. Got him. Oh, okay. So it seems like probably the thing I'm doing worst on is time. Like how long I'm, I take with these. Because that seems to be kind of the weak point. I wonder if I'm given multiple chances to complete these or not. Okay, that's cool. Like, will I be able to go back here and try this one again? Yes, I am. Is it this thing? Wait. How do I do that ground pound attack? Wait, jump? That's what it was, okay. So let me, wait, come on. Hold skip. Okay, so this time what we're going to do is we're going to get that. Can't go that way. Okay, so I assume that was the challenge completed, right? There we go. Uh-oh. Come on, bring it on, goons. We got him. And so we get to move on to the next area. Holy moly, that actually scared me. Whew. I thought that was Devastator again, but I was like, wait, how the heck does he have such giant claws? We dodge. Well, I dodged most of them. How the heck? Oh, I guess I should be probably pressing R1. Right. There we go. I got the hang of it. It just took me a few tries. There we go. Come on. Got him. Hey, our stats have increased. And we found some hidden caches as well, which is awesome. And so it's time to ride. Obtained a mystery object, unlocked new generations art for the gallery. Okay. I'm happy about that. That's a good thing. Oh my goodness. 
Run into Megatron. Megatron. What is the meaning of this? Optimus. <laughs> I love how Optimus is always surprised that Megatron is a bad guy. Like over and over again. It's like, dude, he's a bad guy. Just that's how it is. Like you have to accept it, you know? You have no idea what you're really up against, do you? Who is really behind this? I don't know. Is there someone else behind this? this? Is our home now, Megatron. We should respect it. No matter Prime, I am no interested Interesting. In Earth, so I there might be someone else. A greater threat. Maybe Unicron? Improvements? <laughs> That'll be very interesting. Holy... Okay, to perform a rush attack, reach max speed in vehicle mode and use a melee attack button. Rush attacks can break enemy shields. Okay. There we go. Wow, he seems to have like some sort of shielding around him. What's Bumblebee's like? Oh, he's got like a slide tackle. It's pretty cool. There we go. Come on. Break up a shield again. Two. Boom! Combo wombo. Right into the vehicle mode. Dude, look at this combo that I've just strung together. Bumblebee! Boom. Not bad. I don't think we were at maximum speed. There we go. Go! Oh, no. Here we go. Break that up. Wait, that's it? Wow, I finally got an A rank. There's probably an S rank as well, but that was pretty good. Whew. I'm finally starting to get the hang of the combos and how to tie them all in together so that they actually have a good return for us as far as our success ratios. And of course, just so we look cool as we're able to go on ahead and get some victories. Because it'd be kind of lame if we just win. We want to win in style, which is exactly what we have managed to do so far. So it looks like our next... Section is going to require us to track down Megatron and his goons, but we will be doing so on the next part of Transformers Devastation. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. We are going to be a really cool Ferrari-looking sports car on the next episode, so that should be a lot of fun as well. Thanks all for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.